Orthotic treatment in case of weak dorsiflexors and plantar flexors. Compensating for weak plantar flexors when standing. This is the second video in a four-part series of educational videos. It is advisable to watch all four videos in order to fully understand the context. Chapter 2.1 Secure Stance Due to Healthy Plantar Flexors As the dorsiflexors are not essential for safe standing, only the function of the plantar flexors is explained. When standing, the plantar flexors help maintain the body's center of gravity above the feet. The ground reaction force counteracts the gravity force. The forefoot lever describes the area located between the ankle's pivot point and the rolling off line. The forefoot lever forms the supportive area on the ground. The body's center of gravity can be safely moved back and forth above this area. To this end, the force of the plantar flexors activates the forefoot lever. The more the body is tilted forward, the higher the torque on the ankle joint. Accordingly, the force of the plantar flexors, required to counteract the ground reaction force, increases. The strong plantar flexors maintain the body in a stable equilibrium, as long as the body's center of gravity stays above the supportive area. Chapter 2.2. Insecure Stance Due to Weak Plantar Flexors Weak plantar flexors cause a very insecure stance. In case of complete paralysis of the plantar flexors, the forefoot lever is not activated. Consequently, there is no supportive area. The weight can't be shifted forward. As a result, the body can only be held in an unstable and unphysiological position, balanced exactly above the pivot point of the ankle joint. Shifting the body weight forward would lead to a fall. Only healthy plantar flexors can activate the forefoot lever in order to utilize the full supportive area, thereby allowing to shift the body's center of gravity forwards. The weaker the muscle strength, the less the forefoot lever can be activated by the force of the muscle.
The weaker the muscle strength, the smaller the supportive area. If only the plantar flexors in one leg are weak, the patient is able to stand, but tends to hyperextend the weaker leg. This creates a pathological knee joint angle, which improves standing stability, but over time permanently stretches the ligaments in the knee, leading to health problems. Chapter 2.3 Secure stance due to the correct ankle foot orthosis. In case of weak plantar flexors, an orthosis should be custom made and include the following three functional elements. 1. Foot piece that is rigid in the supportive area. 2. Rigid anterior shell in front of the shin. 3. Mechanical system ankle joint with dorsiflexion stop. The rigid foot piece transfers the ground reaction force to the system ankle joint. The rigid anterior shell transfers the force from the tibia to the system ankle joint. The system ankle joint creates a connection between the foot piece and the anterior shell. When leaning forward, forces from the foot piece and anterior shell are transferred to the dorsiflexion stop, which activates the forefoot lever. Ideally, the system ankle joint should be equipped with a dynamic dorsiflexion stop with a pre-compressed spring unit, for example the Neuro Swing System Ankle Joint. For a natural stance, the ankle foot orthosis, AFO for short, should be adjusted to a forward inclination of the lower leg of about 8 degrees. At 8 degrees, the body's center of gravity is maintained above the middle of the supportive area, which is the most stable position. Therefore, the AFO must be perfectly aligned. An AFO with an adjustable system ankle joint can help create a perfect alignment. With an efficient AFO with the correct system ankle joint, a safe stance is possible even in case of complete paralysis of the plantar flexors. In addition, the hands are no longer needed to hold medical aids, such as crutches or walkers, and can be used freely. <laughs>